What does not work, especially when you're a new realtor, is, and this is a good piece of advice, after you've been in the business for about a year, you've run out of people who are doing you favors, who know you, who are doing you favors. That's the number one mistake you make. Oh, I know a lot of people and I have a big family. I think the only people who benefit from that sort of thing are people who are children of developers. <laughs> Those are the only people who can get by with that sort of thing because you do very quickly run out of prospects, so to speak. The things that sort of kind of work would be cold calling and door knocking and open houses. That's the other one of the other prospecting things I didn't uh, want to uh, miss out on open houses. Now, I live in a place where we are not allowed to, as in realtor speak, double end. So now there's almost no purpose in holding an open house because you're trying to you're trying to find people and people are on to that. Basically, open houses, they will give you fake names. No, I have a realtor any number of those things. And I I find that a lot with the new agents because the old agents don't want to do open houses. So the new agents think that's a way to get business. And sure, you might get one or two people out of it, but at the end of the day, they are not committed to you. They will drop you like a hot potato and they have no loyalty by meeting them at the open house. And so that's what maybe kind of sort of works. And then the final one is building relationships. It is the, the top of the pile. And Park Bench is a wonderful way to build relationships for certain. I have had the last four months or so, I have found little threads of Park Bench through all of my transactions. 